In this video, we're going to be covering how you can set up and install OpenVPN on a VPS on Hostinger. OpenVPN is an open source virtual private network. So it allows you to change your IP address and access content online that you may not normally be able to access depending on your location. Aside from that, one of the main things that people use this for is to protect themselves online to whenever they share information via forums, via email, via different applications, it encrypts all of the information and keeps you safe online. So there are many good reasons to use OpenVPN. And the objective of this video is just to show you how you can set it up on your own server. So on your own VPS, you can have this running. So any information that goes through your VPN will only go through your server and not through any third party. So it keeps you safe and it gives you access to this useful service via a VPS. So today we're going to be looking at the KVM2 on Hostinger and we'll be using that to set up our OpenVPN. So this includes eight gigabytes of RAM, 100 gigabytes of disk space, eight terabytes of bandwidth, and lots of other useful things in here like backups, dedicated IP address, root access, uh, even has malware scanning and an AI assistant built in to help you get set up with configuring your server. So the next step is to go ahead and check out with our server. So let's add this to the cart choose the period on which we want to lock in the server. So you get the best price if you choose a 24 month plan and that brings you to the smallest payment per month. Um, scrolling down a little bit here, we can choose the payment method on the left. Um, so there's multiple ways to pay here. Um, and then we'll fill out the information to make this purchase. But if you are purchasing on Hostinger, I would recommend using either the coupon code David B. You can also use my link in the description um, I'll put that in the video description below, but that will give you the best price when purchasing a server via Hostinger. Once we have completed the checkout, we can go to this VPS section of the dashboard. So once you sign in and go to the dashboard, under the VPS section, we have the option to set up our server. So I'm gonna click this button and begin setting up this VPS. So first of all, we have to pick the location now it makes sense to pick the location based on where your customers or where your viewers or users are going to be. Um, in this case, we probably want to pick the VPS based on which country we want our open VPN to be connecting from. Um, so in this case, we can pick somewhere in Europe, for example, um, but you can change this based on uh, a number of different locations here. So if you want to change this to North America, or uh, France or South America. There's a number of different locations in which you can set this up. Um, so I'll go ahead with this default one, which is Lithuania right now. Um, but you could change this to America or somewhere else if you wish. So let's continue. And now we've got this option to pick the template for our server. So that we're basically just picking the software that we want to install on our VPS right now. Um, so you have the option here of going with a plain operating system or with a control panel. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we want to install an application which is OpenVPN. So if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see that on the options below. There are a number of different things that you can install here, which is very nice. Um, so on the right side, we've got OpenVPN. We're gonna select this. And we can install the malware protection. Um, one thing we need to do here is create a root password um, everything else can be left as it is for now. We don't have to add any details here. Um, so let's create a password and continue. So now that we have picked our software, it is now being installed on the VPS and this should take a few minutes. So you can come back to this screen in a few minutes time and it should be completed. Once the software has finished installing, we will get a screen like this to access the VPS dashboard. So let's click on the manage section here on the left. And now that our VPS is up and running, uh, we can go into this section here on the right, which is the plan details. Um, and this will just give us a summary of the server that we have chosen. So you can see that all of the stats match what we discussed earlier in the video. Um, there are two main sections I want to look at in here, and that is the panel access and the application access. So first of all, let's look at the panel access. So the purpose of this area is to access the admin section of our OpenVPN. So in here we can configure things like what users can actually sign into our OpenVPN. Um, so we'll take the username that was given to us on the previous screen. 
and we'll use a password that we set up a few minutes ago when installing the server. So using these details it should give us access to the admin area. At this point we just need to agree to this license agreement. Um, so you can have a read at this if you wish but once you agree to this it should take us to the dashboard and you can see that we've got two VPN connections allowed. Um, so I guess this means that we can have two simultaneous connections. Um, that's fine for us right now and, and really the next step at this point is just to go and find the user permissions on the left hand side. So it's under user management and in here we can add a new username. Um, so I'm just going to add David as a second account. Um, you can just configure this in whichever way you want but I'm just going to allow auto login um, and this just save the settings um, to create this new user. I think you can configure different groups here and everything else but um, we're not going to go too deeply into that at this point. Um, so once you have this user added, you can just run this update running server. So this will just refresh the server to ensure that you can now log in as that user. Um, but before I do that, I want to have a look around a little bit here. So I'm going to the user profile section and let's open up this, uh, let's open up this profile and have a look. Um, if we go under, I think there's a settings button here somewhere. Yeah, more settings. And so if you scroll down a little bit, we can do things here like set a local password, for example. Um, I guess you don't have to do this necessarily. I think if you don't do this, you'll probably get the prompt to add a password when you first uh, sign in. But I'm just going to set a password here anyway. Um, so this will be the password that we use when we're signing into our OpenVPN account using this new user profile. So that's scroll down a little bit and we can save this. Um, there are a number of different things here that you can configure um, but I think this is enough for now. Um, so let's scroll down a little bit and save this and let's give this a try. And now we'll just hit this update running server button. Okay, the next step is to go back to Hostinger and open up this application access. So we've got this login URL, so let's click on this. And now I'm going to put in the information of the new user profile I, that I just created. Um, so I'll add the name and the password I created. And we'll sign in. And it's given us this recommendation to download the software. Um, so basically you'll just download the software to whatever device it is you are using. Um, so I'm on MacBook, so I'm going to download the Mac software. Um, but there are a number of things here you can do, like changing your password uh, and you know managing your profile and different things. Um, but I think the real power of this really comes from the software that you download. Um, so I'm going to download the software on my computer, and then we will use that to connect to our OpenVPN on this VPS. Um, so the next step is really just to go ahead and choose the right uh, configuration to set this up. Um, so I'm just going to run through this really quickly and when you get through this uh, setup process and um, we can close this down now and then we'll open up the software that we have just installed. So I'm going to search for this. Under Launchpad we can see OpenVPN. So it will give us another screen where we have to uh, like agree to their terms and conditions about how they manage the data. Um, so you can have a read through this if you wish, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to skip through this. Um, now we can see that we've got this profile I created uh, earlier. Um, so this has automatically been added for us. The only thing we need to know to do now is just to toggle the on switch here. So to connect, um, all of this has already been configured for us based on the account that we've uh, created. So we're now connected using OpenVPN on our VPS. And you can see that the connection stats are showing that the data is incoming and outgoing. Um, so just to test this out, you can go to whatismyipaddress.com and you'll see that the IP address matches our server on Hostinger and the little map shows the location in Europe. Um, another way to do this is also to open up Google Maps if you want to see what is the default location. Um, so let's try this out. On Google Maps, you can see that we are pointing at Lithuania, which is where our server is located. Um, so that is working nicely. 
we have now got our OpenVPN installed on the VPS and we're able to connect whenever we want to. So the next step here I'm doing is just to disable this again. If you want to turn it off, you just toggle switch. So once you turn this off, this switch, you will be disconnected from the VPN. So you can turn this on and off whenever you wish. The easiest way to set up this software I have found is using Hostinger.com. And if you want to create your own OpenVPN installation using a VPS on Hostinger, then make sure to use the link in the video description to get the best price on your server. So that is Hostinger.com slash David B. And that will give you a discount on all of your hosting plans if you want to use Hostinger.com. So that's about it for this video. Now we've covered how to install our VPS and set up the OpenVPN software and connect to it. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and like this video as it really helps this channel out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.